In today's video, we will show you how to download the SmartFit app, create an account, and connect to your SmartFit single. Open the App Store and type SmartFit Seize the Now. Click the download option next to the SmartFit app. When the download is finished, select the open button. Select OK to allow SmartFit to use Bluetooth. Select the blue login button. Click the sign up now option. Type in the email address you'd like to link to this account. Make sure you have access to this email as you will be sent a verification code that must be confirmed here. Enter the verification code sent to your email and click verify code. If you didn't receive a code, click send new code. Enter a new password and then confirm that password. The password must be between 8 and 64 characters with an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a digit, and a symbol. Depending on your device, you may be able to use an auto-generated password if you would like. Continue to fill out your first and last name. It is important to pay attention to the role you select. A trainer, coach, doctor, therapist, or owner will be a managing user that oversees managed users. Clients, athletes, members, and patients are the managed users that collect data and can perform every function of the app except for managing another user. Fill out the gender, then select the Create button. Select OK, then select the default mode for this account. Select Rehab if the SmartFit system is located at a rehab clinic, hospital, or any service tied to therapy applications. Select Fitness slash Sports if your interest is fitness or performance. The home fitness slash sports mode is not available for managing users. The link data option allows users who already have a SmartFit 1.0 profile to link their data to the cloud, which is new in SmartFit 2.0. In this case, select the yes option and enter your SmartFit 1.0 username and password. Select the no option if you do not have a SmartFit 1.0 account. This message will only appear when logging in for the first time. Now you're officially logged in. Select the setting option shown here to confirm the device settings matches the single. Make sure the configuration option matches the image of the single. Use the up and down arrow key to adjust these settings. Now let's connect to the system. Select the manage connections tab. Make sure your CPU is turned on and displaying an eight digit ID number. Select the eight digit ID number. Now it's time to start a game. Select the play tab at the bottom of the screen. Choose one of the folders you see under the Categories tab. We recommend you watch the video found under the orange Learn About button. Choose a game, read the game rules, adjust the standard settings, then select the blue Start Game button. Strike the Go target to start the game. If you have any questions about the information covered in this video, please contact customer service.